drive your head. That giant camera. It's a black one in my bag. Mm -hmm. You want the new one or? So right now we're just riding through this uh, daily morning routine, which is basically just a full body mobilization routine. Going through every single joint, working on some specifics, especially hips and knees. Daniel, those back pains from yesterday, I mean, it's like at least 80% better today. Yeah. So I can just do my normal thing. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty amazing. We started off with some problems at weak points, but obviously it's just a process and you get better so fast if you just keep on practicing on it. Sternum. Yeah. Being taller, generally you're gonna have a little bit more force going through some of the joints. The balance is something that you have to work on a little bit harder. It's what we do every day to keep them fresh, keep them mobile and moving well. So we are driving to practice. Today it's very early on in the off season. This is sort of just beginning week two. And we'll probably end up hitting for around an hour and a half to two hours today, I'd say. <clears throat> Jay's favorite thing is to get mic'd up. So if we can get two <laughs> microphones on him, that would be great. Just mix it up, Jay, not everyone. Just a few with See your back. Much better. See you back. From a mental standpoint, he's completely changed who he is, how he operates. I don't think I've ever seen a player go to further lengths to change how they think psychologically in order to help them be more successful. Tremendous change. Go after that low ball. Great job staying low. Love it, Kevin. Love it. Good, good. Super. The mentality and the mental side of the game is so big. Always looking at ways for me to be a better tennis player and obviously the mental component is a huge aspect and we looked at how can I bring out the best in me each and every single point. Great hands. Sick to turn. It's a continuous challenge. There's still ways that I can keep improving. Even next year in terms of the mentality that's a very big focus of ours. Yep. Yeah. We have been together since 2006. Very early on, I remember he shared with me that his goal was to be the number one in the world in tennis. So it's been a cool experience for me to be a part of that journey and see him working towards that since we were so young. This is what one would call my trophy room. <laughs> Got uh, obviously Wimbledon and US Open up there, so those are two pretty special ones. Uh, here was for getting to the top 10 in 2015. Top 10 has been a huge goal for Kevin for a very long time, and it was something that he achieved a few years ago, but only for a very short time frame. The next year, faced quite a few injuries and wasn't able to build really any momentum. I was missing tournaments, had to take a little bit of time off, and then, you know, the ranking stepped a little bit. It's really challenging. I think at one point, Kevin's ranking actually dropped. I mean, he was around 80. Tennis is one of the most cutthroat and competitive sports. If you're injured even just for a couple months, it can dramatically affect where you stand in the, in the rankings. You know, at the time there was maybe a bit more of a push from being healthy and really understanding what I needed to do to get back and playing my best tennis. One of the big lessons I've learned is when you are in that position, it's much better to take time away and approach your matches when you are at 100%. The clay season in 2017, you know, I started winning just a couple more matches and just started playing more. And I took another look at the mental side of my game and where I can really push myself to become a better competitor. Obviously, people have spoken about it, being a bit more vocal, being a bit more encouraging of myself. I think that was also a very important key for me. Again. It's a debut victory for Kevin Anderson. Making the Nito ATP Finals this year was one of my biggest goals. Obviously, it fell a few matches short, but it will be a big goal of mine moving into next year, and of course, wanting to do a little bit better, especially towards the second half of that tournament.
definitely, I think Kevin now, when he steps out on court, he has a little bit more conviction. To be able to come back this year and solidify that was really special. Let's do that one. Swings first, 10 reps. Kevin is extremely disciplined, literally does every single thing that you would demand from him if he wants it or not. Just makes it a lot easier and obviously improves his well-being and his performance in the same way. Close stance, uh, throws with the ball. Close yeah, yeah. The biggest thing is the challenge and you know, there's still a lot that I still want to play for. What I've always really enjoyed about tennis is that it gives you the opportunity to, to really test yourself. I got the last one, come on. So I'm holding my breath throughout the whole bottom. Throughout the whole rep, yeah. Big breath, come on. Yeah. Last one, keep the speed up. Drive your hips. Yeah. You train away from the court is a pretty big correlation and the harder you work, the more you push yourself in different ways, you can see those results on the court. Just competing ultimately is what really fuels me and keeps me very driven. There's a lot of goals that I've had my whole life. I'm getting closer to achieving some of those goals, but it's still a lot to pay for. Spain it's the biggest the title of his career. Kevin Anderson Six, is the champion in Vienna. And he's backed it up when it mattered most.